I would like to wrap up this unit with two videos focusing on verbs. In this first one, we'll look at regular verbs, or in Spanish, verbos regulares, and in the next one, we'll do irregular verbs. So you can see that I have the verbs divided into certain groups or lines. The first blue line represents the activities that you usually do in the mornings. Uh, the second one has activities they usually do during the day or the center part of the day. And then these are activities that you would do usually in the afternoons or evenings. These last two lines contain verbs that appeared in the example days that we've covered. So we'll get to them at the end. Let's go ahead and take a look at the first line, which has the morning activities. And you can see that these have a lot of, or many of these verbs are reflexive. When you have a reflexive verb, it just basically means that the object will be the same as the subject. So if you want to say, I wash myself, you would say me ducho, or you would use the verb ducharse, and you, it would also have the reflexive part of the verb there. Um, just a quick review on how to conjugate regular verbs. So for example, let's take the verb levantarse, which means to get up. You can see that it's reflexive, but we can ignore that for now. So I'll just put the reflexive ending into brackets like this. Um, and always the, the thing that you have to look for when you're, when you're trying to conjugate a verb is its ending. So I've said previously a couple times that Spanish verbs end either with an AR, ER, or IR at the end, and that uh, the endings that will change with the persons depend on um, the original ending of the infinitive of the verb. So levantar, we know that verbs, and verbs ending with AR have the endings. O, as, a, amos, ais, an. And these are fixed. For regular verbs, these are fixed. And this will always apply if you have a regular verb ending with AR, you will be using these endings. So if I want to say, I get up, you would say, levanto. Because first person of levantar is levanto. However, now we cannot forget that it's also, that this is a reflexive uh, verb and that it has a reflexive part. And we also have to conjugate it into the same person as we conjugate the verb. So, me levanto would be the correct form in the first person. I'll just write it down here. First person singular, singular, me levanto. So we've already covered the, the endings or the suffixes um, that are correct for every group of regular verbs. And we've also covered how, how are you supposed to change the reflexive part. So whenever you have a reflexive verb that is conjugated, uh, the reflexive part goes to the beginning, and then you have the, the conjugated verb itself. Um, so this was the first one, levantarse, to get up. Lavarse is another reflexive verb. Again, it ends with an AR, so the endings would be the same. If you want to say, I wash myself, you would say, me lavo. And you already know, know the, the drill. Um, it's the same for all of these. So I'll just run through the meanings. Levantarse, to uh, get up. Lavarse, to wash yourself. Desayunar, to eat breakfast. Comer, to eat, generally. Peinarse, to brush yourself. Or you could say, if you wanted to say, I brush my hair, you would say, me peino mi pelo. Mi pelo is my hair. But again, this works the same way as levantarse. Maquillarse is to put makeup on yourself. Ducharse is to shower, to take a shower. So we've covered or we've recapped the, the morning verbs. And now let's go ahead and take a look at the, the activities that you do during the day. So the first verb right here is terminar. Terminar means to end or to finish. And uh, we use this word in association to uh, my classes end at a certain hour or my work ends at this and that time. So one important thing that you have to keep in mind when you're conjugating, and especially if you're a native English speaker, and of course English does not conjugate verbs, the important thing that you have to keep in mind when conjugating is that the person that you conjugate into is always connected to the thing that does the activity. So even though you might be talking about your day, so the entire thing is kind of in the first person, but if you wanted to say, my classes end at 3 o'clock, you would say, mis clases terminan a las tres, because it's the classes that do the action. Yes, you're talking about yourself, but the classes, let's say, physically do the action. So that is why you have to put it into third person plural, because it is connected to the classes, not to you. You don't end, but your classes end. So always keep that in mind, always connect 
um, the verb or, or the conjugated form of the verb to the object or subject that it is, of course, directly connected to in the contextual sense. So terminar was to end or finish, hablar was to talk, to speak, comer again, to eat, and trabajar, to work. Uh, I think we can move on to the third part, which is the activities of the afternoon and evening. Regresar means to come back, to get back. Cocinar, to cook. Cenar, to eat dinner or to have dinner. Comer, again, just generally eat. And leer is to, to read. So we had uh, leer uh, un libro, which is to read a book, or leer el periódico, which is to read newspaper. And now we can take a look at the newest verbs that we've had in this, in this unit. Um, quedar and visitar a. Quedar is to stay. So you could say, uh, we, we had the example sentence of I wake up at 7, but I like to stay in my bed for 10 minutes and then I get up. So you could say, me despierto a las 7. So I wake up at 7. Pero me gusta quedar en mi cama unos 5 minutos más but I like to stay in my bed for some five more minutes. Okay, so that is quedar. Of course, it does not only have to be used in this sense, but that is the type that, or that is the way you could use this, use this verb uh, when talking about your daily routine. So quedar, to stay or to remain. And visitar a alguien, for example, it means to visit someone. So visitar usually is connected with the preposition a. So for example, if you want to say, I visit my parents, you would say visito a mis padres. I visit my friend, visito a mi amiga. So these are pretty clear. And the last three verbs, preparar, which means to prepare. We have the example sentence, uh, my, my mother prepares breakfast, which would be mi madre prepara el desayuno. Then llevar, we have this in the context of mi madre me lleva a la escuela, which means my mother takes me to school. So llevar is to take, either to take someone or to take something with you. This is really a very flexible verb in the meaning. And ayudar uh, means to help. Again, it is very often it is connected with the preposition a, just like we had visitar a, to visit someone. Ayudar a would be to help someone. For example, ayudar a mis abuelos would be to help my grandparents, and so on and so on. Okay, so this was the recap or a review of the regular verbs that we've had previously, and I'll see you at the next video about the irregular ones.